dive we played. And I got fed up with it. I said the Indians can't always be the ones who die. It's time for the Cowboys to die. Tommy said, no way. So hey, my suction cup arrow at him. Let it fly. It smacked right in the middle of the Ringo Kid's forehead. <laughs> The only good cowboy hero is a dead cowboy yeah. hero. <laughs> <laughs> we did revisionist history in our backyard sieges without even knowing it. Let's see it. Well, what? Your famous death scene. <laughs> Here? Sure, make like the old days. No. Come on, nobody will know. It's a cemetery. Let's see that famous cowboy hero bite the dust. You'll make my ancestor spirits. <laughs> well, okay, you be the Indian and shoot me with a bow. <laughs> I know that part. <laughs> Good, better than Newman. Did you ever act? Did it look like it? Well, you talk well, you have clear allocution, you're photogenic, but you're kind of handy. Pretty shitty, eh? Hey, language. Be respectful. The spirits know your wasi eat you. But if you're pure in your heart, everything will be cool. If not, we could have trouble. I'm sorry. Are the spirits watching me? They're always watching. You're not afraid. No. Of course not. Don't worry. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Are you sure they don't mind the uh, Wasichu being here? I already prayed to them and told them that you were coming. And not to worry, you won't be staying. <laughs> I hope not. Stop walking around like that, you make me nervous. John? Yes? It's pretty straight, eh? There's no straight, Henry. <laughs> Only forward. <laughs> Sit down. Tell me something. Well, like what? <clears throat> well, you went to school. What'd you study? Uh, the usual. French, English, astronomy. Point me out some stars. That's Orion the hunter? The warrior. Yes. And that's Vega. And that bright one next to Orion, you see it? It's the brightest one up there. That's Sirius, the dog star. Oh, you mean Coyote, the trickster. That's Indian humor. Oh, well, what's it like? <laughs> Characteristically, Indian humor. <laughs> Characteristically? Okay, okay. <laughs> you can't describe it. Who lives it, knows it. Well, give me an example. Uh, a story. Tell me a funny Indian story. Wasichas ask too many questions. Uh, well, you know, asking you shall learn. That's why I came out here to British Columbia, was to learn. To have some Indian experience. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, you know, to have... To have some Indian experience? Well, no, not like that. To have some Indian experience? <laughs> You're the one asking questions now, John. Yeah. Look, I... It was kind of you to... I've never been to a longhouse before, and I always wanted to see the dances. I've been on that island two months listening to the dance drum since I moved from the east. My converted chicken coop was just off the reservation. You didn't know me when I helped you with your tire. And then you took me to the dances. And then you brought me here to visit your ancestor. It's very decent of you. Uh, really, I wasn't thinking of having an Indian experience, honestly. It's very decent of you. But look, John, I I'm sorry. I mean it. Have I heard your feelings?
your grandfather. Is he buried here? And in inexperienced. I'm sorry, John. Is your grandfather? He's not here. I have to go to the latrine. You were saying he wasn't here, your grandfather. Is he still alive then? Sorry, in a plane crash. I'm sorry. Boom! Nothing left of him. Good thing he had his feathers with him. Probably flew right up to heaven. I was raised Catholic, you know. I wonder if St. Pete let him in. Can you see it? The sign on the pearly gate? No Indians or other ignorant heathen savages allowed. We don't want any Indian experience up here. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we better go, John. We're 10 miles from town, and we're on Indian wheels. There aren't any cougars in Montreal, but there are cougars in these hills, big city. Hey, big city, that's your Indian name, big city. <laughs> big city? Could you make it plenty beautiful? Horses? No! When an Indian names you spontaneously like I did, you accept it. Millions of lost teachers would get a right arm for a good Indian name like that. <laughs> Big city. And remember who gave it to you and dig it as an Indian experience. There's no reason for this, John. Oh, I could just hear the airwalks say to Columbus, Chris, there's no reason for killing my family! I guess Columbus and his men would have ceased to be racist, pillaging, bloodthirsty savages if only someone had thought to bring it to their attention. Stupid Indians, they never think of anything. You're angry, I understand that. I'm sorry for what happened to your people. I don't condemn it. It was deplorable. Deplorable? I think. I'll cut your liver out. Eat it! What? <laughs> Just an idiot joke, Big City. You wanted to hear one. I'm not guilty, John. I'm on your side. <laughs> Wasichis were born guilty. Haven't you heard of original sin? <laughs> I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs>